Hey guys, what's going on? Third Shit Reactions here. We're back. I'm Shane. Exactly. And we're back here with the Vox Mock with <laughs> Vox Legend the of Vox. Vox Mock. The Vox. Episode 11. 12. Yeah, I know, but I meant to do 11. This is us. <laughs> <laughs> Last time on Vox Mock, you know, we had, they had to work together with the girl who Percy was going to kill because. Yeah, she was a. Uh... He's a member of the fucking cabal that, mm -hmm. you know, took out his parents and their family and the yeah. estate and took over Whitestone. And the sister betrayed Percy, and I think she just had this vendetta for a long time. She unless she's, like, a double-double agent somehow. Triple agent. Like, unless she's a triple agent, like... Or Ocelot. Yeah. Or kind of like... Re well, I don't want to say that because we're reacting to it right now, but a certain character in a certain show. Yeah. Revolver Ocelot. That, that's a good example right there. So, unless she's that, then I'm pretty sure she's just justified this hatred for Percy. I don't know if the Briarwoods are as wholesome and loving as Hook when he converted Peter Pan's kids. <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. You no, know, he was very much more kind of like, you know, your father doesn't love you. Like, Plays baseball actually, games. Actually, yeah, tries to be a fatherly figure. Yeah. Whereas these motherfuckers are raising ghouls and zombies and yeah. fucking have zombies walking around eating people. Now, somehow, somehow she's justified it and... Well, I, I understand people do that. We don't know. She might have been tortured to the point. They're kind of like, a, what's his name? Reek. Game of Thrones. Yeah. Yeah, like like Reek or actually in, in Star Wars, the Inquisitors, which Kenobi kind of slightly leaves that out, but they're like brought to the point of death like crazy until they're broken and then they become Inquisitors. Yeah. We had Grog getting naked, going down in the acid, which... Yeah, they burned himself down. And, and like, Pike was fucking healing him. Yeah, it was so cool. It was good. Yeah, that, that was cool. It was like an example of like kind of uh, the fighting system within the D and D. So, guys, before we jump in, just to let you know you can watch a full length version of this at our Patreon, uh, and I'm going to put a link down below. You can also see up to two weeks early access. And in this case, we have one more episode. We do want to remind you: let us know in the comments what you would like for us to do. We will run a, a poll on our Patreon, but we want to take a bunch of uh, suggestions from everyone in the comments here, and Zach and I will. Pick a few, we'll run a poll, something to replace this. So we're gonna jump in right now. Oh yeah, they have a, a sacrifice now, it isn't, right? We assumed it was the sister. Yeah, but now it's... Another person they found out here is the fucking Oh, Vex. Oh yeah, I forgot. He turned. I think it's a ziggurat. It wasn't a spell book, it was an instruction manual. The, the Whispered One. The Whispered One? You've heard that name? Once, uh, from an elder of the Everlight. They said he's some sort of undead creature whose soul seeks the power to return to our plane. I get the book, the maps, but what's with the star chart? It's the solstice. Yep. And the barrier between the planes is the thinnest. You and I will be together forever. Let any who would stop us shatter against what we have built. <sighs> Very dramatic speech. It needs to be met with some fucking yeah, like raucous fucking horny shit. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. I'll take Vex. Piece of cake. Grog. God damn it, she's Vex. <laughs> no, she will answer to me. Oh, I never get to play. Buddies. Oh, <laughs> goody. <laughs> that was a I good... love that he's Roy Mustang's dub actor. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Goody. It's a really different performance. Too. I know, but I, just, I can tell after someone tell, told us that. Yeah. I can see. Percy, they'll hear. Yes. Go ahead. Shoot. <laughs> what a little cunt. I mean, she helped save the lives. You are not finished. I hoped for. I've waited so long for this. 
this. You'll have to go through me. She was on the gun now too, right? Yeah. More of your little weeds. Child's play. <laughs> Fresh blood for my feet. Fucking Devora. Yeah. Oh, it's a Dragon Ball Z move right there, dude. That's cool. I can't believe she gets a good enough signal to be still doing that. Oh, dude, that is great. Great. See? More of it's like Majin Vegeta, where there's like a yeah. a little bit of your contentment and everything is there. Yeah. I have it right there, and he doesn't want to do it. Yeah. They murdered our family. They saw my family. <clears throat> they took me in when you left me to die. <clears throat> you abandoned me. But the whispered one won't. <laughs> I can't remember what that's called. Like petrify or something? Keep your eyes on me. <laughs> good animation there. It is very good. The fight's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> that was like a. You're a Bradley. Exactly, man. yeah. It's... Or silence. I think it's called silence. Duh. Get away from my nose! So, you're going to kill your own sister? You're gonna kill your own fucking brother, bitch! I don't want to. But I. That's cool. I think she's obviously been broken, you know? There is work to be done. Yeah. Just like, it's like a Magic Vegeta yeah. thing. I'm Keyleth. One of the Arishari. Nice Skywalker. I know. The spear bomb. <laughs> Except exclusively plants. <laughs> Tree of Might. Yeah, oh yeah. That was a great. I, I love that movie. That's a good one. Yeah. All of a sudden, all of a... That's what I was saying. Please don't make me do this, brother. Fuck, no. Vex, is that you? No. No. Would you stop hitting me? How would you know for sure, though? Don't ever do that to me again. I was ready to kill you just now. The grog's gonna come in. Some, yeah. I... We meet again. <clears throat> How's about you and me go for a rematch? He's gonna get him though. Like in fucking the Liam Neeson movie. God damn it, I can't remember. Ah, oh, shit. No, I know what you're doing. Don't try and seduce me. What? Am I trying to... Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's cool. Jesus. That is so cool. Man, <laughs> Splinter power, dividing it. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Fuck, I don't want to hit you. Uh, I can take it. It's a fucking piccolo. Yeah. Pretty epic. Yeah, it is. Really cool. Oh, I love that. 
That looks like the fucking uh, what was the beam he used to kill Goku and Raditz? I, I, I think th- that's, what, that, like that's that. what I was thinking too, because yeah. it has the circles. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> we we love Dragon Ball, guys. We do. Okay. That kill was mine. Shit. Honor our bargain. So they serve somebody, obviously. Delilah, stop! It's like when Jafar came back, or when he turned into the genie at the end. Yeah. Who's gonna get her? They haven't shown Scanlon yet. You're right. Oh, right there he is. Oh. Maybe uh, her daughter? Oh. Oh, sister. Yeah, you're right. Oh. No! Oh, shit. Oh, no. Dude, I hope not. Something fast. Make a deal. We need to. It's already there. It's a fucking great one. That was really good. Intense. Yeah. Very intense episode. Yeah. I, I mean, like the fighting. You know the characters throughout. Mm-hmm. It was really good. Yeah, and like the villains, they had moments of bad acidry. Obviously, the. The story of like their love, you know, what would you do for love? You know, some people take it a little far. Vader, them. Yeah. <laughs> like sometimes when I watch something, when there's fighting nonstop, I like like ups and downs. Like I like breaks every once in a while, but this show paced it really well. Like this particular yeah. episode, yeah. Very good. So do you think Kayla's going to live? I hope she does. I mean, if they're playing by modern rules where like Game of Thrones kind of set the standards yeah. where anybody can go. In terms of the story, I really hope she doesn't. Old school stories, they were always about that shit. Like, oh, well, did they really die? Oh, no, they did. Yeah. Okay, you can do that one. One time. Yeah. After that, you can't keep doing it. Then you're playing by like, comic book DC Marvel rules where people die, but they don't really die. Yeah. So uh, that gets tiresome. So... I hope she didn't, only because of that. But yeah. if she does live, it better be for a damn good reason. Yeah. And I'm wondering if they make a deal and they're bound to whatever they, like, bound like they were to. Because obviously they had to take Whitestone. They had, to, they had like, a certain amount of things they had to do for Silas to live. Yeah. Um, so maybe if they make a deal, they might have to, like, I don't know. I mean, I didn't see the original campaign. Me either. You know, so yeah. I don't know what... You know the dungeon master had in mind here, and yeah, what's available, what are the what the available options are. I mean, it could just be Vax, mm-hmm. the man, right? The, yeah, the male elf, Vax guy. Yes, <laughs> yeah. uh, we've been through this shit. So Vax, he might want to, but he addressed his sister when she's almost gone first, not Keela. Yeah, so. It tells me in terms of storytelling that uh, maybe they'll come out of this on top. Yeah, that, that's... But I don't know how long the series is now. Make, how many seasons are confirmed for this show? I know they confirmed another one, and I guess like the campaign for this story was hundreds of hours long. You know, they condensed what they needed to for a first season, but there could be multiple, multiple, multiple in terms of, like, they got a lot of story to tell, and that's supposed to be pretty good. So well, then... Like, this is essentially just Percy's... Well, eventually somebody in... Loyalty the, mission. Somebody in the party has to die. Eventually, yeah. eventually, Boromir but like, died. But each each yeah. person is can each party member is controlled by a real person, and that real person has decisions to make, and he can he can fail or succeed, and the character can die based on those. You know what I mean? So I'm saying, though, in terms of you know ultimate storytelling, though, like people, I still feel 
no matter what, the dungeon master and the people playing along to his tune. Yeah. You know, they they follow a certain cycle in storytelling. I feel someone in this party is going to die. Well, I feel like it, it could happen. I just I don't know if it's going to be her just yet because I feel like what's left the other than in love interests in this group other than yeah, dwarves. I mean, from, and then, from, then the, you know Scanlan and Pike. There's that, yeah. but. Um, and Percy and Vex. Yeah. If, it, if that's what really, was really going on. Because yeah. they, they kind of addressed Vax and Keela pretty early on. Yeah, and it's probably one of those things where those two friends go off to the side and say, let's have a, my character's going to like your character. Yeah. And that, and you can choose to reciprocate it or not. Yeah. They probably like, I remember you know, when I was playing, I had a dog. They actually like, like each other. Yeah, maybe, maybe. When I was playing, I had a dog, and the dog, I, I used the dog as I fought. And it was pretty cool, and eventually I died. And my plan was to eventually get it resurrected. And I guess it was very hard to do. Uh, and it was considered like a non, like an NPC companion character. I can control him in fights to a degree, just like a companion character. I think there are ways to resurrect people. It's obviously up to the dungeon master how hard that is and stuff like that. Because they, the dungeon master's job is to make sure everyone has fun. Yeah. Like you're telling a good story and... and, and for it to be fun, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I, I I know this goes on for a long time, so I don't know if one of the people gets killed and they, right, I guess we'll just stop playing, you know what I mean? Yeah. But there's always, like, I know sometimes you get killed and you can say, all right, well, I guess I'll be a new character. And then they have to, like, level them up and shit, mm -hmm. which I always think would suck. Oh, yeah. I would just want to, I just want to, yeah, I just wouldn't want to play anymore, personally. Be done. We see also Percy, like, to the degree how much that thing that gives them power and the gun power, like, it has a lot of agency. It does. That was my kill. Yeah. And everything, you know, so, I mean, it's, it's interesting. I'd like to see what happens. I so, like if, if I... His vengeance, I love seeing him shoot that witch. That was cool, yeah. It was very cool. And, and just, um, the, the art, when, like, the fighting, like, the art in this episode was at its highest point. Like, in terms of, like, the actual art design, it's kind of, like, invincible, it's, like, serviceable. I mean, better than anything we grew up with. Yeah. <laughs> but just serviceable by modern standards. Mm -hmm. But they kicked it up for the fight quite a bit, and it looked good. And you know, well, most like this animation is an example, but there are other series and shows that do that. But it's very stiff. Yeah, the animation quality is very stiff, and it's not fluid at all. I mean, maybe we were spoiled on Japan animation. I yeah, say yeah. that's definitely the case because those people can crank out some really good shit. But no, dude, this is a good one. We have one more episode left, and then we're done until season two. But that's I mean, thing. Yeah, the show's so good. Yeah, so, and it, it just—it's funny because I remember. I know this is good, but the first episode didn't grab me, but we're always willing to, you know, change our p opinions on things, you know what I mean? Well, you give it a chance and see more than what you see at the beginning. Yeah, like, dude, The Office, like, that first season was just kind of average. Yeah. <laughs> the whole season. Like, this was just, maybe the first episode was below average. The first couple of episodes were kind of like, ah, it's kind of stereotypical fantasy yeah. nowadays, but it really got its footing, and it found itself, or at least it... Mm -hmm. To the audience, to me, like, I, I did not know the original D and D campaign that was, you know, big on YouTube and what have you. Yeah. So I didn't, I didn't have any heart in it. Yeah. It was just some show. That but you it's said, good. Hey, we should watch this. And I'm like, okay. And we watched it. And the first few episodes were like, Ugh. but then it started to really gain its footing. Yeah. The characters really started to grab me. Yeah. It took time. And I don't know if they changed any of the original campaign. To well, it's be palatable on here, but it didn't. It wasn't palatable to me until we got. A little further along. Yeah. And well, what's cool is like each person, like I think I feel the heart in the show because these are just friends who are role playing with each other sitting around a table. And yeah, I think that, you can, that's cool. and you can cool feel that. It's cool to this point. And you can, yeah, and good for them. Anyways, guys, before we jump out of here, just remember you can go to our Patreon to see the full length version of this and up to two weeks early access. And remember, let us know in the comments about, uh, about what you guys think we should react to next and we will run a poll. Other than that, we're out of here. All right, thanks everyone for tuning in here. If you like what we do, you can tune in, tune up, and let it roll. And, uh, you know, if you don't like it here, you can comment down below. We're, we're sure to troll you, at least I will. And uh, Instagram, Twitter, Both. you'll find us there. You can hit the thank you button down below.